floating the river has been really nice without all the smog over everything. Calgarians have been enjoying the heat with a smoke-free summer, but now that's subject to change as BC wildfire season is getting a late start. BC wildfire service tending to 60 fires in a seven-day span, and now the hot, dry conditions impacting much of southern Alberta as it's now under an extreme risk for wildfires. Smoke from the wildfires not only in BC, but down into Washington, Oregon, and then stretching into Idaho too, that is going to start to filter into southern Alberta, and you'll notice it around Calgary as early as tomorrow, or even late evening tonight. Uh, the southerly, even southeasterly winds bring in some of that smoke from Idaho, parts of Montana, but the majority of the fires are farther to the south and west, so with more of a southwesterly push as we get toward the end of the week, we'll start to see that air quality at least deteriorating gradually. Despite the summer catching a big break from the smoke compared to last year, people say they're not ready for the return of the smoke. I do miss having a little bit of rain. Like, I do enjoy a good rainy day here and there, but it's been beautiful. Like, the vibes in the city have been amazing. It was really bad last year. I remember just locking up all my windows and trying to get as many plants as I could because I thought it would filter out the smoke. But uh, this year, no, it's been really good. I've honestly never even noticed it. So it's been great so far. It's been really nice to not have to think about the smoke for going hiking and climbing. And though we are expected to see the smoke make its way into the city, how much of it is still up in the air? It's hard to say exactly how much of the wildfire smoke will filter down to the lower levels of the atmosphere, and that affects the air quality uh, most specifically. But we'll see a hazier sky higher up for sure into tomorrow and over the next couple of days. In Calgary, Gabby Rios, City News.